Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. I'm Mr. D. And I'm Mrs. D. This, This is, is Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. D's Robotics. Robotics. We're here to show you our journey as FLL coaches. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. In this video, we're going to learn programming our EV3 Mindstorms. Remember, this is basic programming. Let's all begin by launching EV3 Mindstorms program. I'm going to discuss the basics, then we will program our robot. Once opened, you will start in the lobby. There are two ways to start programming, by clicking the plus sign in the upper left hand corner or by clicking new project. I'll model this for you later. Remember the programming workflow model that we are going to be using. First, we're going to create a program, test or run the program, debug, modify or tweak, repeat 2, 3, and 4, and even 5 until we get it right. Let's now discuss the EV3 Mindstorms workspace. We have our new program tab, which will serve as our folder. We also have our program tab. This is where we will be creating our programs that will be downloaded to our robot. In our workspace, we have our menu, start button, toolbar, our canvas, which is our programming area. Number five is the palette. Our programming blocks with each color having its function. I'll discuss that to you later. And then we have number six, the hardware page. Hardware page will tell you the available bricks, port view, brick information, download button, download and run, and run selected. Now let's start with the palettes. The green palette is your action blocks. Orange palette is your flow control blocks. Yellow palette is your sensor blocks. Red palette is for data operations. Blue palette is advanced operations. The turquoise palette is my block palette. Green and orange palettes are the commonly used palettes. From the green palette, the commonly used blocks are the medium motor, large motor, move steering, and move tank. There's also display, sound, and brick status light. Let's discuss the move steering block. As you've noticed, it is connected to the start button. Under the move steering, you will notice that the pick duration button is located. In the pick duration, you can choose X or off, meaning stop, on, meaning coast. You could also choose for seconds, degrees, or rotations. Steering, power level, set duration, and next action, whether it's a brake or coast. We will create our first program and we'll have our robot move forward and backward. Under project, we have the program and we're going to be changing the name to F and B, meaning forward and backward. Our start button is ready. From the green palette, we're going to choose a block. We will choose Move Steering. Drag the Move Steering block and connect it to the Start button. Click the Duration button and choose On for Rotations. Then check the steering, it's moving straight the power level, which is 50, and then the rotation, let's change it to 2. Notice that ports says B and C. Make sure that the cables for the large motors are connected to ports B and C. Remember, one block is one instruction, and in order for it to move backward, we need another block. Drag another move steering block and configure. Think, if you're moving forward, it's positive. Therefore, what are you going to use if you need to move it backward? Notice that the robot is connected through Bluetooth. We're now going to download by clicking on download button. Let's 
Let's now program our robots to turn to the left and then to the right. Remember, one instruction is one block. And then download the program to your robot. It's now time for our robot to do 360 to the left and then 360 to the right. Now let's program a robot to do U-turns. We are now going to program using the touch sensor. You will notice later that we attach an axle to the touch sensor as an extender. When the robot hits the wall, the touch sensor will be pressed. It will stop, then will go backward. The yellow palette and the orange palette both has the touch sensor and other sensors. Are you curious as to what's the difference? Well. The orange palette has the wait for block. In this program, we will use the wait for block, then the touch sensor, and then the state will be pressed.
It is now time for us to program using the color sensor. We will program the robot to move for one rotation, then coast until it finds a color black. We're going to use the wait for block, then the color sensor, compare, then the color, and we're going to change the color from red to black. Once the robot finds the color black, it's going to stop. Thank you for watching. We hope that you learned a lot from this lesson and that you enjoyed watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.